Hey everyone, Mr. Sujano here. In today's video, I'm going to be reviewing the brand new Raspberry Pi 4 desktop kit. Let's get started. So if you're wondering what the Pi 4 desktop kit is, it's essentially everything you need for the Pi 4 aside from monitors. And by everything, I mean it's got pretty much everything. So let's unbox this and take a look. So right off the bat, if you are wondering, yes, this is a French box. However, my components are all in English. There are different language variations that you can get, for example, French or English. Uh, you can get also ones with European plugs, with North American plugs. So really, depending where you are, you can get the version that suits you. And on the side of the box, it lists all the contents. So you can see it has the Raspberry Pi 4 Model B, the four gigabyte version. In my opinion, the best version to get right now. There's also a keyboard, a mouse, a micro SD card, a power supply, which is USB-C, as well as two monitor HDMI cables. So it's the mini HDMI to HDMI. There's also a case, and on top of that, there is also a little instruction booklet. Opening up the box here, the very first thing you see right dead center is the Raspberry Pi already in its case. On the right is the Raspberry Pi mouse, and on the left is the USB-C cable power supply. In the very front, you can hardly see it, right in front of the Pi is the memory card. And as you can see, they have already taken the initiative to install the Raspberry Pi in its case. So it's one piece of guesswork that you don't have to do. Underneath this little cardboard piece, you can see the keyboard as well as the monitor cables. As I said before, these are micro HDMI to HDMI. The Raspberry Pi does not have full size HDMI ports, so you will need these cables. There's two of them because they can plug into two separate monitors for a dual monitor setup. This is a keyboard. It's a full-size keyboard except it does not have a number pad. You can see right on the back here, full-size keyboard with three powered USB ports. So not only do you get the four USB ports on the back of the Raspberry Pi, you get an additional three ports on the keyboard. There's also this handy book, the official Raspberry Pi beginner's guide, how to use your new computer. So I find that this will be interesting for someone who's looking to do different things on their Pi. There are some neat tips and tricks in there. If you're already familiar with the Raspberry Pi, you might actually learn something by reading that book as well. And this is what everything looks like set up. So you can see the mouse plugs right into the keyboard. The keyboard plugs into the Pi. There's two monitor cables that do plug into the Pi as well as the power supply. So altogether, this takes a matter of seconds to set up. It's not very long at all. Now, all things considered, I think this is an almost perfect package. I say it's almost perfect because there are a few things that I would like to change about it. Now, first and foremost, the way the mouse is used, if it is plugged into your keyboard, it works absolutely fine. However, if you're trying to use this mouse on a different setup, for example, you wanted to use this mouse on your main PC, on a laptop, it would be fine. If you're using this on a desktop PC, you may run into an issue with the cable length because the cable is not very long. You can see it's about a couple of feet and I don't think that's long enough to use it as a desktop PC peripheral. Uh, but if you are using it on a laptop, it's absolutely fine. For the Raspberry Pi, it's absolutely fine. The other thing that I would like to see included are potential heat sinks for the case. If you're just using this as a daily CPU or even using it for a, a home theater PC, um, maybe even RetroPie, you can probably get away without using those heat sinks but I would say they are an added plus. Now those are really the only two things that I would like changed, but they're not deal breakers by any stretch of the imagination. One area where I think this package shines is in its quality. I was very impressed with the quality of components. I thought they may lack a little bit considering it's a very compact setup. However, the mouse is full size, like it is a full size mouse. There's a lot of weight behind it. It's actually heavier than my daily PC mouse, which is a Logitech G403. The keyboard feels very solid. I like the way it is. I like the way it feels. The monitor cables are actually very, very nice. I like the fact that they are Raspberry Pi branded. They're thick, they feel sturdy, 
and I think they'll probably hold up for quite a while. Now the power supply here, I would say is one of the biggest selling features. It is second to none. It is a 15 watt, three amp power supply. It will give you all the power you need for your Raspberry Pi and more. You won't have to worry about under voltage at all with this power supply. In my opinion, it's probably the best power supply that you can get on the market for the Pi 4. The case is also a very strong selling feature. I would say it's fairly beginner proof uh, because all the ports are labeled. So I'm not sure if you can see in the camera here if it will focus but each port is individually labeled. So all the ports have individually individual labels on it. You've got power, HDMI, and also your sound. If you do want to access the internals, the top of the Pi case comes off very easily. The Pi still stays firmly mounted in here. You don't have to worry about it popping out and the pins are easily accessed. So if you do have an issue uh, where your Pi is running hot, you can just peel off the lid if you want. On top of that, you do have full access if you're doing something with those pins. If you are curious about the memory card that comes with it, it is a SanDisk Edge 16 gigabyte class 10 A1 micro SD card. So I'm reading that right off the card. I'm not sure if different regions or different boxes may contain different memory cards, but this is the one that was included in mine. The desktop kit is available in Canada at buyapi.ca for $159.95. If you're in the States, it is $120 at pieshop.us. I do recommend going to buyapi.ca or pieshop.us if you're in the States as I've never had any issues with these websites. I always receive legitimate quality products and their customer service is honestly second to none. Over the years, I've probably purchased, I would say somewhere in the ballpark of 20 or so, maybe even more Raspberry Pis from this website for either friends or family or for myself. Now in regards to this package for 120 US or 159 95 160 Canadian, I would say it's definitely worth it for two different types of people. The first type of person, if you are new to the Raspberry Pi universe, maybe this is your first time picking up a Pi or a Pi 4, and you want the complete package, you want the best of the best, then I would definitely recommend this. It contains everything. You don't have to hunt for parts individually. On top of that, you get very quality parts. The second type of person that I would recommend this package to is the hobbyist. People even like me. If you are using this for RetroPie or a home theater PC with Kodi or something on it, you probably don't need this package. You might want the power supply, which you can also purchase separately. But for the hobbyist, this package is perfect. If you're gonna use the Raspberry Pi for like Linux and experiment with a few different things, this is awesome because everything is nice and compact, made to work specifically with the Pi. You don't have to worry about compatibility issues with anything at all. Everything just works. I no longer have to worry about a full size keyboard, another mouse with cables all over the place. It's just, it's a nice little compact situation that's easy to deal with and put away. But anyways, that's all I've got for today. If you liked the video, leave a like. If you didn't like the video, leave a like. Hit that subscribe button. Check out my other videos. Let me know what you think about the desktop kit in the comments below. If you have any questions, I'll do my best to answer them. Now, I will be doing another video shortly as to whether or not you can use a Raspberry Pi 4 as a daily driver. Thank you everyone, take care.